Okay, so here we're going to have a hits and misses of this amazing Japanese crochet stitches. A stitch dictionary and design resource. 156 different stitches by Kiki, oh, sorry, Keiko Akamoto. Um, I got this at Joann's, but it is readily available on Amazon. I will have a link down below and it is an affiliate link. So I appreciate if you are going to purchase this, if you use my link, it helps out the channel. Um, and anything else you happen to purchase at that time also helps out the channel. The list price on this is $18.99. I got this at Joann's when they had a 30% off book sale. Um, but that being said, there also is patterns in here for two elegant lacy shawls, two fun and flowery necklaces, a bohemian vest in neutral tones, a rainbow scarf, and a bag. So here are pictures of the, the patterns. Not the reason I bought this book. These are just the projects you can use to put it together. Okay. So this is not, I repeat, not, not, not for beginners. You're going to need to be able to read crochet diagrams to use this book or get up to speed on them if you're going to be using this book. This picture on the front color, cover is deceptive. They are not this easy. So let's open this up and look a little. I think the reason that they went with just the diagrams is because this author is from Japan. That's just guessing here. As you can see, it's a picture of the garment and then it is a, a stitch diagram. Note. The patterns and projects in this book were conceived and executed using metric measurements. All inch measurements are approximate. Hmm. We encourage you to use the metric measurements if possible, as this may yield more precise results. Cool. So it's separated into different sections, which those are colorwork crochet patterns, beaded crochet patterns. I am super excited they have a section for beading. That is not a lot of those in regular pattern books, lace, broomstick crochet, motif, Irish lace, edgings, and then some patterns and instructions and basics. This book has something for everyone from pro to beginner. Beginners can use this book to understand a variety of new techniques and methods. But more exper experienced crocheters can read this book, put aside the rules, and learn to truly play with yarn and be more creative and imaginative in your work. So these are the color work crochet patterns. So they have full color um, pictures. And then it also on the top shows you the size of crochet hook and then what page the instructions are on, which I love. Um, here's another one. And this one, and this one. And then on the next page, it's going to show you some instructions. Now, please don't get overwhelmed. But these are the kind of advanced things I'm talking about. You're going to need to learn how to read this. There also are color work charts. And then it goes back to, this is the one on the front cover. Color work chart. This is a scarf that it ended up making. More color works, flowers and birds. And these, I kind of like that one. This, this fan thing is pretty this one and these two they're just unique designs and to be honest with you doesn't this one kind of look like sheep <laughs> it's kind of what I was thinking that kind of looked like 
sheep with black hats. And then you go from that to really complex. Like that is layering. Even more complex things. I'm gonna skip ahead here a little bit. Now we're gonna go to beaded stuff. So you have everything from simpler things like this, getting a little more complicated. Something like that. That's very Americana with the colors they picked. Then there's lace patterns. Look at that cool one. Like that. Ooh. There you go. Look at that. Ooh. That's got that annoying stitch I hate in it. The coil stitch. Yeah, that's like the most annoying stitch I've ever used. You have to go around your hook a bajillion times and then try and yank it through all those loops. Not one I'll be using. What's your least favorite crochet stitch? Comment down below and let me know. Ooh, that is pretty with the mohair. Look at that gradient. Ooh, ooh that's pretty. Some of these use ribbons. Oh gosh, look at that. That is pretty complicated, but very pretty. Let's see what else we got here. Now we have uh, some broomstick crochet. Look at how cool that is. Never really done broomstick crochet before, but it's kind of been on my list of things to try and learn. That is beautiful. Look at that, folks. Loving that. Motifs. I'm gonna pull out this a little bit more. Different motifs. That's pretty. Isn't that pretty? More motifs. I really like that one. And that one's pretty, too. Hmm. Ooh. That's fun. Clover alpaca. Three millimeter hook. That's pretty. So's that. I want to make that bigger and make it a bag. Ooh. It's got that stitch I hate in it again. Oh, can you say holiday ornament? It's pretty. This is still motifs. Look at how pretty that one is, the big one. Ooh, I like that. That's also pretty. I mean, a lot of them are pretty. Now we're getting into more like somewhat doilyville. Look at that one. That's pretty. Crochet Irish lace. Ooh, this is different. Ooh, I like that. Look at the clover and that flower is beautiful. Really like this motif here. Ooh. I like that edging with the leaves a lot. Look at how cool that is. And this one with the knots in it. That would be pretty with beads added right in the middle there. Something like glass pearls or something if you're using this color. That also is another awesome edging. Oh, he has a whole bunch of edgings. Okay, this one here makes me think of a cupcake. Here's your cake liner. Here's your cupcake. That would be pretty in color work. Look at those fans on top. Ooh, look at the garden. That's cool. Ooh, sunflowers. That's pretty, man. I'll make that into a necklace. Cherries and daisies. That's pretty cool. Look at that one. 
I like too how they have these in color side by side and then you can just flip the page and that's where the um, pattern is. So they're basically, I like how it's side by side. That is really cool. That needs to be a pillow. What do you guys think? That is really pretty too. That's a little weird. I don't know what that is. Then they have an example of pattern to finished items. Some of the finished items that they made, which is not the reason I'm buying this. And then look at the nice section on yarns. It separates it by type and then shows you what it looks like by photo. And if you can't get a hold of some of these yarns because they're either out of your price range or not available here because this person's from Japan, yarnsub.com is your best friend. You just type in the brand and the name and they will show you what a good substitution would be. And then here is your Stitch Dictionary Crochet Basics. And there's more stuff back here. Stuff that they didn't have space for. That is an intimidating pattern. <laughs> And then there's a page on crochet basics, or if you just didn't remember how to do a certain stitch, they have everything up to more complicated stuff back here. Mm -hmm. How to do color work. Join as you goes. And then some information. This is definitely gonna hold a prominent place on my bookshelf because there is lots of different patterns here that I can learn lots of things through. And they also look beautiful too. So again, I will, I'm will. i rating this probably a, this is a nine out of 10 for me because many, many of these crochet stitch dictionaries are made for beginners with some intermediate advanced patterns. I feel like this is targeted towards intermediate and advanced crocheters, which I like. I wish there was more things like this available on the market. Um, again, I will link down below my affiliate link for Amazon if you'd like to pick this up. And let me know if you are going to add this to your pattern collection. Please like, share, and subscribe so your friends can learn to be affordably crafty too and have a creative day, everyone. Bye-bye.